In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can render interior layouts faster than AutoCAD with Rayon Design. So first of all, you're going to see that uh, we're basically going to use Rayon Design. If you want to use this as well, follow along, make sure that you sign up in the first link in the description. Now, you're most likely going to have some sort of DWG from AutoCAD or some sort of PDF from uh, any other kind of source. So we first want to make sure that we import that. So I'm going to go ahead and import a PDF. So I will go ahead, select it, and then I can just click import. And then right here, you can see that Rayon opens another tab for us to pick a known length. That way this is placed in the right scale. And in order to do this, I will go ahead and choose a door because most likely doors are um, usually like bedroom doors are 90 centimeters. So I'm going to click to pick the end point as well. And this would be 0.9 meters. We can click continue. And now we're back here. We are going to go ahead and pick insertion point and just click once. And now we have our model. So this would be the PDF. This is flat. We cannot edit this. However, I'm going to show you how we can recreate this, even though this was done in uh, Rayon. So we're going to go ahead and use the wall tool first. So as I click the wall tool, you're going to see that over here, we're going to have a few different options, which we can also edit later. However, one that I prefer to take a look at before I uh, place anything is the alignment. So basically do you want the wall to align to the right of the line that we draw or in the center or to the left. Uh, in this instance, I'm just going to go ahead and draw this wall first. As you can see, we want this to be aligned on the left of the line. This would be one and go over here. And then we are going to go over here and click done. And now we will select all of these and we're going to make the thickness 0.4 meters, uh, maybe even more. So let's go for 0.6 meters. Uh, it seems like it is around uh, 0.5 meters. And then we're going to go ahead and make this, for example, a um, dark gray and this would be a solid so this is how we can basically draw walls as you can see we can change the thickness the alignment and also the fill which i'm going to show you later on how we can stylize all of these even further okay so i've went ahead and drew uh the walls here which went by pretty quickly i'm going to show you how we can also add opening so if you go here at opening you can go ahead and choose a sort of wall opening here at the library we can basically choose uh, something like a door or in this case, let's just choose a window. I'm going to choose this one. We can click select and then we can just place it anywhere in the wall. So for example, we can just uh, uh, place it in this um, storage room. Pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. I went ahead and uh, did this basically just using every single one of the tools that I used earlier. I just didn't want to uh, make this very repetitive for you on the video. Now, uh, one cool thing about Rayon as well is that if you go here at uh, basically the dashboard, you can go to templates and there's just a bunch of projects that you can go ahead and take a look as examples and use as templates for your own project. If we scroll downwards, you're going to be able to find this exact project that we're working on. We can just click use this template and then you can basically open and see the rest of the stuff. However, for now, we're just going to focus on the drawing that we have here and I'm going to show you how we can complete this whole thing. So now in this instance, you might think that uh, basically uh, just like in AutoCAD, you might need to draw all of these lines for the blocks here uh, one by one. However, if you go here at blocks, you can see that Rayon has a huge library of blocks. Uh, we're going to go ahead and, for example, choose a bed. We can basically just choose any of these. You can see there's a bunch of options, for example, this one. Uh, and then we can just drag, drop it on top, and then there it is. You can see this is super easy and fast to use. And basically you can do this with a bunch of stuff. Rayon has a huge library of assets that you can use. Uh, we can go ahead and maybe even use like a basin. So we can just click basin. We can use the countertop sink. Uh, we can just place it right here and then rotate it at 90 degrees. Now I'm gonna show you how we can add some sort of uh, stylizing like uh, I did here uh, with a flooring. We can basically go ahead and use the zone tool and we can click inside any room here. So I can just click once and this would be a zone and then we can go at uh, solid and then you can go at textures here and you can see that you can find for example this chevron 
texture. You can honestly transform it. We can make it smaller. We can also make it bigger, anything like that. And then we can also go ahead and put it to the back of the layer. That way it doesn't interfere with everything else that we have here. So for example, we can go at arrange and then we can go uh, click once send backward or we can just send it fully to the back of the layer. Now you can see it over here. Uh, you can find all the layers. Uh, this means that you can put all the annotations in one place. You can put all of the shadows to act, add extra depth in one place. You can also go ahead and turn on on and off the furniture and this helps you keep everything organized and a lot easier for you to access if you want to change things uh, in between. Now if you need to add something like dimensions which is an annotation as well you can go right here you can use the chain dimensions that way you don't have to click all of them one by one and then you can go ahead and uh, basically select them just like this. So once you've stylized and kind of rendered out this interior layout, which to me, it looks very clean and very aesthetically pleasing. It's super easy for you to share it with others. So basically you can go right here at share and then you can go and invite someone here or you can share it as a presentation. So you can just click publish presentation. You can copy it as a link and you can see like anyone can open this with a link and access it super easily, just like uh, some sort of brochure or catalog. And then if you just want to export it as a PNG or a PDF, you basically can go ahead and add something like a page. You can see that I've added a bunch of these here. I can just click once and another time uh, randomly. And then you can also leave it as custom if you want to custom, if you want to customize the width and the height of it, or you can also add some sort of pre-made format like an A4 or an A3. We already have one here. And then you can go ahead here at the pages section in Rayon, select the one that you want to export. You can click export and then choose either PDF or PDF png and then choose your preferred location and this is exactly how rayon removes all the unnecessary complications of some traditional cad software and just lets you be in the flow by uh, being a lot more efficient in your workflow it is faster easier and it is web-based which means that it's even more accessible so if you want to go ahead and try it out yourself you can either click the link below to sign up or try out the template for yourself and if you want to learn more about the software and check more of my content around rayon design make sure to watch the video right here